Hello! How's my energy? Pretty good! I've heard great things about you. Oh my god, welcome. Thank you. Glad you've heard nice things. Chat, I've got no content ideas. We've not had an hour of just chatting in a long time. Maybe we can just chat. Do you believe in chakra healing or any spiritual healing? I don't know. Mind over matter, maybe? I was meant to die once and I didn't, so I don't know what the f stopped that. Maybe some spiritual sh saved my life? Who knows? I mean, we all die eventually. Look, honestly, hot take. We don't know if we're all eventually gonna die. Immortality might become a thing before the end of our lifetime. Conspiracy theory? I think human civilization just repeats. I think it constantly repeats. And every single repeat, technology gets a little bit further. If you look up some tech that civilizations were making before any other civilization knew how to fucking do it, it's kind of crazy. Like they were making computers on boats and sh I forget who made it, but it was so ahead of its time. Crazy, dude. And gravity wouldn't even exist if Einstein didn't invent it. You know, um, if you can beat the speed of light in your movement, the time is moving the same speed, but your physical presence is moving faster than the speed of light, so you're traveling time travel. Hey, eh? What? Am I wrong or am I right? Don't make me get Emma's paint out again. If you're in a box and on here is a rail with a seat on it and you're sitting in the seat and you have a light and the light moves up and down but <laughs> if the seat is moving left and right and the light is going up and down the light travels a much further distance in the same speed because the light you move it up and you move sideways and the light hits there and then when you're moving it down you're still moving sideways and it hits there and then you move this way again and the light goes up again the distance is longer but the same time as this distance but this distance is way longer proving that um Time travel can be real if you sit on a seat and move a light bulb up and down. Time travel is real. Guys, I'm seeing some clash. When they explained this on TikTok, all the comments said, wow, you're a genius. This guy did a really good, good job explaining this. And now that I'm explaining it here in Twitch chat, everyone is just saying, um, you're so wrong. You're so stupid. Like, I don't get it. How about I explain gravity to you guys? This is the solar system. Pretend this is a piece of fabric on a ring, okay? And it's pulled taut. It's tight. Without any gravitational pull from anything, we would just go, we would roll all the way to the edge and either fall off the side of this flat earth or we would just bounce all the way back. But if there was something heavy in the middle as like a planet that pulled the fabric down, I'm drawing a butthole. If you roll a ball into this, instead of going straight across and eventually resting in the middle, the ball will roll towards the heavy thing that's creating a gravitational pull and you will circle the fucking thing with the gravitational pull and you will go around because it's heavy and it's weighing down in the middle instead of just going whoop, 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 whoop. POV, you are poop in a toilet. What the hell? <laughs> POV, you are poop in the toilet. <laughs> Is this not crazy though? I'm doing a really good job at explaining these complex theories to you guys. Should I do the door theory? If you have a door, the door is made up of hundreds, millions, quadrillions of atoms. Everything in this world is made up of atoms. If you were here and were like, hello, the door is made of atoms, you are made up of atoms. If you, in quick succession, ran into the door repeatedly there is a very small percentage that um the doors atoms and your atoms would align and you would be able to pass through the door because your atoms would fit through the doors atoms if you try enough you can pass through a solid object and i will demonstrate that to you right now Guys, I'm on the other side of the wall. Can you hear me? Hello? I'm back. 
and scene. Thank you. I'm glad you guys were here to witness that. That felt like a, a very big part of history. Would you guys like lessons on anything else? Okay, I have one. I'm going to teach you how a straight line can create a circle. Say you have a circle and on that circle is a straight line and on that straight line is a ball. And this ball is just bouncing back and forth off the walls in a constant speed. It's not making a circle at all. How can this circle make a circle? Say you have another line with another circle on it, also bouncing back and forth at a constant speed. Say you have another one and another one. All of these straight lines with a circle moving back and forth, they would all line up in a way where it looks like a circle bounces off this line and moves to another line and moves in a circle. And I'll prove that by showing you a video demonstration. All of these circles are moving in a straight line, but the illusion is that it's turning in a circle. See, look, I made this video just for this lesson. See, look, you have two. It doesn't look like shit. It's kind of getting there. It's moving. It looks like it's a square, a rotating square right now. Now it's a square with a hat, but all these circles are moving in a straight line. You can see they're all moving in straight lines, but it's creating the illusion that it's a rotating circle moving in a circle, although it's just they're all on a straight line. Thank you for today's lesson, everyone. Thank you so much. I have another one. I'm going to get a substitute teacher into this one. He's recorded a lovely little video for us for this lesson. He did this for today's stream. Just uh, listen to the lesson and follow along. Just ignore that button. If you'd button. like to see if your brain can fill in the colors, all you need to do is to stare at the circle in the stare center at the, of the Stare picture. at the circle. And it's really, really, really important that you keep looking at that circle. Now, the psychedelic colors you're seeing at the moment are designed to fatigue some of the receptors in the retina at the back of your eye. When I remove them, only the ones needed to color the picture should be stimulated. Sorry. Now, I've only sorry, made this sorry. today, and let's loop back to the start. Here we go. Three, two, one. If you're here for the first time, do you guys time, see it in color? You see the, you see the colors, right? Now look away colors. and look back. It's all black and white. Like it's all black, black and white. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that insane? What else does this dude have? We're learning so much. Who is this mysterious, iconic celebrity? Well, you'll see her the face Joker. really clearly. If you stare at the cross right now in the middle of her face there, just keep staring at it. It's going to count you down. And when I do so, you're going to look at a white wall or ceiling, blink rapidly, and you should see her staring right back at you. Shall we give it a go then? Stand by. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah! 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 Who is this? I saw someone. I saw someone in my eyes. That was so scary. I saw someone in my eyes. I didn't like that. I did not like that. Do you think I could make one of these? Dude, I can make one of these, I bet. Let's keep it simple. I'm Fucking not drawing created. clocks. I'm drawing science. I'm going to save this. And now I'm going to put colors in it. Chad, should I become a science teacher? This is so fun. Dude, if that old man can make these, I can make them. You haven't learned much. But, but if you were like a four-year-old child, you probably would have learned a lot. Okay, chat. Stare at the center of the circle. Hang on, I need my friend to explain it for me. Sandra, like no, no, hey, no questions. Okay, and now you have to stare at the dot. Hang on. Return to the start of the video. Okay, stare at the dot. Guys, keep staring at the dot. It's really important that you keep looking at that dot when we return to the start of the video. I'm gonna try it video. I've only made this today, and I haven't had a chance to test it yet. So you're my guinea pig. Please let me know if it works. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Here we go. Then you ready? Let's loop back to the start of the video. Good luck. Three. Two, one. If you're here for the first what time, the you'll see a few dull grey bars. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh my god, it worked! What the fuck? That was so cool. I almost threw up. Whoa. This is so fun. This is like a little science fair, dude. Here we see a pillar. Now, some people see a hollow column, others see it with a pyramid on the top. I see both. I see hollow if I look down here, but I see a pyramid if I look up here. Why do I feel like this is going to be problematic? What colour are the man's trousers in this picture? Have a close look. Content and created. And you might be surprised. White. What? Wait, what? Oh my god. Whoa! He looks like my childhood best friend's brother. Why is he wearing white skinny jeans and heels? He's going off, I guess. He's, he's slaying. Chad, I have another little brain game we can play. 
Have you guys ever heard about the theory that when you watch a POV video of a crash in a video game and then close your eyes on the moment of impact, your brain thinks it's died and you enter a state of euphoria? We're going to do that, but it's going to be in Grand Theft Auto, so it's not fucked up. Close your eyes when he crashes. Flash warning, big flash warning. Flash warning, I'm giving a big massive flash warning. The video flashes when you're meant to close your eyes, okay? Did it work? It's not working for you guys? Fuck! Well, now what? <gasps> Virtual piano. 